I was born in 1973 and I had music in my life early on. My father was a jazz guitarist and I don't remember too much of that growing up, but it was still in me. Now in the second grade, I picked up the guitar and I loved it. And then in the fourth grade, my music teacher was an opera singer and she had a community production of Carmen that she took a few of us to and she let me do a solo in that. She opened her mouth and did her big, big vibrato, but I still sang it and I felt like a rock star or an opera singer. Um, so I was also playing the violin in the Brooklyn Borough Wide Orchestra in junior high school. So I was pretty hooked on music from an early age. I put music aside and I concentrated on my physical fitness to help rehabilitate myself with a back injury. I was written up in Miss Fitness Magazine for my efforts and I got my first certification as a personal trainer through American Council on Exercise. I started my own business, Say Wow, or Women's Outdoor Workout. I was able to combine my two worlds, marketing and fitness. I gave up my fitness business to care for my grandmother. When my grandmother was diagnosed with cancer, I chose to give up my fitness business and care for her full time. During that time, I found the power of music. She didn't know my name, but she could sing all the words to the songs from the swing era I would sing to her on karaoke CD tracks. I knew this was my calling, and soon I would start performing for senior audiences in nursing homes. I worked with a musical director and a director and produced my own cabaret show in New York City. I was nominated for Best Female Debut with the Manhattan Association of Cabaret. That night, my boyfriend proposed to me, so it was a very special night. Um, 2003, I still was performing in nursing homes for the senior audiences I loved so much and where I started. I was booking piano and bass, um, but I wanted more. I went back to school for music theory so I could understand the music better and work with more musicians and know that I could talk the talk. I um, started with the Vicki Smith Quartet and went up to a seven piece band with brass called the Vicki Smith Hot Seven. My last performance was at Eisenhower Hall at West Point Military Academy. I love the East, I love the West, and North and South, they're both the best. But I'll only go there as a guest, cause I love being here with you. I was just having a hard time with balance and coordination, and I had symptoms for some time, and I never knew what they meant, but I just knew that the performing wasn't for me. I left the performing world and I thought I would be better off on the business side. So I graduated from Montclair State with a master's in arts management in 2007. The largest jazz radio station in the United States, WBGO then contacted me to see if I wanted a job in underwriting at the radio station. Then one week later, my MS was diagnosed. So I went on my first MS uh, disease modifying drug, which was a self-administered shot. I had to give myself four times a week. And then I also had a prescription for an ankle foot orthotic that would prevent me from tripping over a drop foot that no longer lifted when I walked. I was having some tough times, but I was gonna continue to work. I was gonna keep going. So in the meantime, um, my mobility issues continued to progress. I was contacted by a trade show display manufacturer locally, which was great because now I was walking with the help of a cane. I got really good at photography there, taking photos of all these different trade show displays for their new website, which I helped to build all the content for. I was also a featured presenter on social media and email marketing at my company. I was also contacted by Rutgers and Columbia University to speak at panel discussions. It has to be from the brand voice, but you can definitely defend your reputation. The customer is always right in, in their view and, and also for I also wrote an Amazon bestseller on smartphone photography. 
I had a weekly podcast. I did YouTube videos for my blog, Smarter Online Marketing, and I was doing really well with my career. But being over 40, it was time to start thinking about starting a family. In 2015, my son was born. My MS continued to progress, and I went from a cane to needing two forearm crutches. Right after I had my son, I was in rehab again, and after I got approval, I got back to the gym. In 2017, I was contacted by the MS Society to be a group leader for a new chapter that was opening. I really wanted to get certified as a personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine so I could be a resource to them and authority for anyone with MS. I would give exercise advice and do some gentle modified exercises and a nationally recognized certification would make me legit. It became increasingly difficult though to walk with my heel now not reaching the floor. As my foot was rolling out, I would crunch my bones when I walked. No matter what leg brace I tried to use, robotic included, I opted for reconstructive ankle surgery in 2020. After my surgery, my foot was flat on the floor so I could walk again. I was so ready to take my walk aid off the shelf. I had to stop wearing it when I was pregnant because the electrical impulses made it contraindicated. I was excited to have it reprogrammed and back on my leg. After a few months, I was back at the gym and walking with my foot flat on the floor without any brace to keep me from using all my leg muscles to walk. Now I can do weight bearing cardio again and feel like I'm in the best physical shape of my life. I've still got a long way to go to walk right again, but it did take me quite a long time not to walk right. I think I'll just have to keep on kicking ass and being an MS warrior. I want my son to always see that I never give up trying to be stronger than I was yesterday, even with a chronic illness like MS. It's empowering for me to have my son live every day knowing that I go to the gym before the sun comes up every morning and I strive to always be the best version of myself. I improvise, I adapt, and I overcome. And I truly am a chronically empowered mom.